and in this episode of Home Robotics, another telescope repair. Hope you enjoy. So this new telescope I got for repair is a Saxon Newtonia reflector. It has seen better days, but generally the mirror seems to be in good condition, or at least both mirrors. There is actually quite a bit of rust in most places. Looks like it had been kept outside for a while. Upon quick inspection, I think I can fix it and bring it up to really good work in order, but it will need a little bit of work. So we're going to start by removing the optical tube, give it a clean, and then we'll move on to the mount and then the tripod. So I will start by removing the uh, mirror cell, so we can start cleaning the mirror. Then I'll go ahead and remove the front cell, and then give the focus a clean, and then followed by the entire tube as well. So to remove this cell, I've actually got to remove the mirror itself, and I'll do that by loosening all these screws here. And now we have the mirror ring and the mirror cell. So this is the secondary mirror and the secondary mirror cell. We'll just put that aside. And now to remove the uh, focuser. And then tube goes to the wash. The focus is primarily plastic, so cleaning it is not hard. The uh, rack is plastic, the pinion, however, is metal, and that needed some cleaning as well. So taking apart the mirror is sort of like heart surgery. If you mess this up, then the whole works is gone. So do pay extra attention to what you're doing. If you feel uncomfortable bringing a screwdriver close to the mirror, it might be always good to put a cloth on the actual mirror to avoid accidental bumping. The cleaning of the mirror has been done before in several videos. So I won't show you again how it's done, however I will leave links in the description below. For rust removal you can still use vinegar, I'm now starting to use the compound called CLR, which I find is uh, very useful. When reinstalling the screws, there are two types. One's a long one and one's a short one. The long one is used to secure the mirror cell onto the ring and the small one's used for adjustments.
So each screw had a corresponding nut and it was a matter of lining up the nut with one hand whilst using the other hand to secure the screw. I found that challenging at times. The mount of course, second most important part of the entire system, was that it's slowly dismantled. In terms of deciding what I want to fix in the mount on the tripod, pretty much everything that's rusty I'll remove and clean. In terms of the mount itself, if it moves smoothly in any axis, then I'll leave that, I won't dismantle it. But if it's rough or seized in any other axis, then I'll dismantle that axis and then clean it up. On this particular mount there was rust on all the adjustment knobs and the adjustment screws so I removed all of them and gave it a clean. So I'm effectively removing the uh, declination axis nut, which also carries the counterweight rod. Quick test on the actual uh, control worm mechanism of the right ascension axis. Once again, if there's no problems there, I won't dismantle it. For this repair job, the tripod was the easiest part, mainly due to the lack of rust on most of the metal components and just requiring a clean, so that was pretty easy. Clean tripod, and now for the uh, reinstallation of the mount. And then finally, the telescope. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, any queries, just let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you next time.